Hello everyone. Today we will show you the evolution of the split motor. From the first generation parallel shaft brake speed regulating motor to the second generation Arcon right angle braking speed regulating motor and then to the third generation Alta brushless motor finally evolved into the SF series brushless motor. Next, I will show you more details during this experiment. First is the experimental preparation. Check the test bench and the splitter. Confirm whether the connection between them is loose. If there is any loose, tighten it. Turn on the power switch and the controller panel lights up. Press the start button on the controller panel. Turn on the switches of the two speed regulators and turn on the driver switch. Turn the knob of the driver clockwise until the speed reaches 280 RPM. Turn the speed regulator knob to 20% of the scale. Since the motors used in this experiment is 1400 RPM, and the speed regulator scale represents the percentage of the speed, so 20% means that the motor speed is about 280 RPM. Now, the four motors are all running at about 280 RPM. We are ready to start the experiment. The first generation split motor adopts a 120 watt brake speed regulating motor equipped with a parallel shaft gearbox with a reduction ratio of 30 and a corresponding speed regulator. It drives the splitter through the synchronizing device. The second generation motor is also a 120 watts brake speed regulator motor, but the gearbox has been upgraded. The parallel shaft gearbox is replaced by the arc bevel teeth right angle gearbox. We can see obviously that the space utilization of the second generation motor is more reasonable, and the second generation motor can be connected to the splitter directly without the middle transmission device, which is more convenient to install. The transmission device means a certain amount amount of energy consumption, so the efficiency of the second generation motor is also improved. The third generation split motor has been upgraded with both the motor and the gearbox. The motor is changed into a 60 watt brushless motor. The gearbox is replaced by an L-shaped gearbox with a reduction ratio of 15 and equipped with a corresponding driver. We can see their difference from the appearance. It's obvious that the installation space required by the third generation is smaller than the second generation, and the second generation split motor uses an external mechanical brake to realize frequent start and stop. The third generation brushless motor uses a driver which has electronic brake function itself. For the mechanical brake, it needs high cost and have a risk during frequent start and stop, which will reduce the motor service life. But the electronic brake can start and stop freely. So the third generation motor has improved the mode function and reduced the cost. Let the two motors run for a while. It has been running for almost 30 minutes. Let's use a temperature measuring gun to measure the surface temperature of the two motors. The temperature of the second generation motor is 49.6 centigrade. 
The temperature of the third generation motor is 25.7 centigrade. So you can see that the temperature of the second generation motor is much higher than that of the third generation motor. We know that long term running with high temperature will shorten the service life of the motor. Therefore, the third generation motor is more suitable for frequent start and stop. And with lower temperature rise, it can prolong the motor's service life. The fourth generation split motor adopts the 120 watt brushless motor. Compared with the third generation, you can see that the motor power of the fourth generation is nearly doubled, but its volume is much smaller than the third generation. That is to say, for the fourth generation motor, we have upgraded the power density of the motor. The motor volume can be made smaller, where the power can be made larger. End of the test. Rotate the knob of speed regulator and the driver control clockwise. Till to zero speed. Turn off the driver and the speed regulator. Switch off the power supply. Finish the experiment. Summarize. This experiment demonstrates the following aspects. From the first generation to the second generation, the installation space is much more saved. The installation become more convenient and the efficiency become higher. From the second generation to the third generation, the installation space is smaller. The electronic brake replaced the mechanical brake, which prolonged the service life of the motor and make it more adaptable to the frequent start and stop. From the third generation to the fourth generation, the motor has higher power density.